Hey guys, I just got my very first art snacks box. I'm pretty excited. It literally came like 10 minutes ago and I just thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing video because I've been watching them for the past three or four weeks. So I almost have it open here. There we go. Um, this is my first one. I'm a very like very amateur artist, but I figured a lot of people getting these might be so um, I don't know fancy terms or stuff like that, but I love to learn them and get art supplies and do all that fun stuff. So I am going to unbox this for you guys and then I'll do a little illustration with it also. So this is just the menu for what comes in it. And then the first thing, well, our snack is an extreme sour apple candy, which I love, but I used to absolutely hate. I My cousins used to make me eat those um, because they thought it was funny. And here we have four different brush pens, and I love brush pens. I have like this whole thing of them from Arteza. And I just ordered some other ones. I do kind of like the felt tip more. Um, these are real brush pens, just like those ones. So that's exciting. And everything else is in this. Which, there's no sticker in the box, but maybe the sticker's in here. Yeah, I've been wanting art subscription box for a while so I'm glad oh sticker is in here I'm glad I got this and I have plenty of time to use it okay so here's a little sticker it's very cute and let's see so we have a Copic multi-liner and it's black it looks like it's like metallic but it's just black um and we have a Higgins India ink chisel marker. So this is one you'll have to like shake and make work and everything. And it's black, I believe. I assume, we'll find out. We have a pencil from Erojiten, sure. And it's unsharpened, so that's nice. It'll have the whole thing to go and no broken tips or anything. And it's Cameo Pink. And here we have an Aqua Pen Graphics. It's a watercolor felt tip pen, which I just actually bought some felt tip pens. So it'll be excited. I'm excited to like use this before I get all those in the mail. So it's double ended. Um, a felt brush tip and a bullet tip, it looks like. Yeah. So those are all the exciting things. Um, I'll do like a price breakdown and everything in a minute, but this is everything I got. That's my candy and my sticker. And yeah, so I will do like an above view of the products a little more. Okay, so here's just a overview of everything we got in the box this month. I'm about to swatch everything out and give you the price breakdown for each item. The first item I used here is the Higgins India Ink Pump Marker 22 millimeter chisel nib. It was a retail value of $11.30 and it is this month's staff favorite. The Higgins India Ink Pump Marker lays down artist-grade pigment ink with ease and control. Ideal on paper and boards, this tool has a water-resistant matte finish. It lasts seven times longer than most permanent markers thanks to its refillable body. Just remove the tip and add more Higgins ink. Be sure to shake thoroughly before use. Next we have the Copic multi-liner it's a retail value of three dollars and 99 cents create clean precise drawings with the copic multi-liner this pen features a sturdy nib and smooth ink flow the archival pigment based ink is waterproof and copic proof when dry meaning it will not bleed when colored over with copic markers 
Next we have the Tombow, which I'm sorry I didn't mention in the first part, is a Tombow Erogitin colored pencil, and the retail value is $2.39. From its soft lead to its elegant enamel finish, the Tombow Erogitin colored pencil is beautifully crafted for fine art, illustration, or doodling. It produces rich creamy color that can be easily layered with waxy buildup. Erogitin is a Japanese expression for color encyclopedia. Full sets of these pencils are available in stylish volume volumes for Tombow. And what I'm using right now is the Marabou Aqua Pen Graphics, which is a $2.99 retail value. Wet your palette with the Malibu Aqua Pen Graphics. This felt tip watercolor pen is double-ended, featuring a fine contour tip and larger brush chip tip. The water-based pigment ink delivers bright, brilliant color and can be fanned out with a wet brush. Warning, be sure to never dip these pens directly into water. So it is a felt tip, which means you should never dip it into water, unlike these other brush puns right here, which you could um, dip directly into water if you wanted because they are bristles. And they are the King Art Real Brush Pens. They are a set of four, and I got orangey-red colors. Um, and it's the Art Snack Exclusive, and it was a $6.99 retail. We specifically curated this pack of King Art Real Brush Pens just for art snackers. This vibrant watercolor pen acts like a brush moving effortlessly across paper to create thin or thick lines with its tapered nylon brush tip. The vibrant color is light fast and will not streak or smudge. Use this pen with water to achieve delicate watercolor effects. So next we're going to move into the speed draw portion. I'm going to show you my illustration and talk about the products and how I felt about each one. So I started off with the Tombow colored pencil first. I only used it for the ears, so this is the only time you'll see me use it. It was good. It's a colored pencil. Um... I used it on watercolor paper, so it wasn't the best that it could have been, but it showed up, so that's pretty much all you can ask from that. Um, I ended up drawing a fox, which I have a geometric fox that I draw a lot, but I've wanted to do a more cartoony, like flowy version of a fox for a while now. This definitely didn't turn out as my best art piece ever, but I like it enough, and with the color options I was given with the markers, um, I, I just immediately thought of Fox and how I've been wanting to do this. So that's what I did. So as far as the King Art Real Brush Pens go, I really did enjoy using them. For some reason, the orange that I'm using right here didn't spread as well as even the yellow or the other two darker colors. It just, it it didn't go down on the paper as well as the other colors, but it is kind of like a neon color, so that might be why, but after you went over it a little bit, it showed up pretty nicely. Here, I'm using a water brush pen of my own to kind of blend the colors. This did not come with the box. One thing that I was not super thrilled about with the markers is that none of them came with marker names which you can tell what the colors are obviously by looking through the clear cap but I would have liked to have like the names or numbers or something on the actual marker itself. Like I said earlier I've kind of wanted felt ones recently so I ordered some but these work just as well as the ones I have. I enjoyed using them and while we are on this portion let me tell you that the full price um, of the box was, or the full worth of the box was $28.66 with all of our goodies inside of it. Um, and I paid $24 for it for the month. So I got a pretty, pretty decent $4.66 back. Um, and honestly, like sometimes these boxes will come with less usually not a lot less, but maybe like a few cents or a dollar or so less than what you would have paid if you didn't get the box. But the reason I have been so interested in getting art boxes recently is because sometimes it gives you things that you wouldn't normally use, and sometimes it gives you different brands of things that you already do use. Here I'm using the Copic Multiliner, which I did skip most of it because it took a while, um, and it is a good marker. It lined very nicely on my watercolor paper and I enjoyed using it. 
Next, I am using the Higgins India Ink Pump Master. It is very juicy. Um, the color dries really nicely, though. Um, kind of pulled up a little bit. And um, once I got it working, the, it is like a soft nib, like a more flimsy nib, not a hard nib. So I was nervous to push down on it too much, but I did because <laughs> that's how you make it work. And it worked out really well. Didn't ruin the nib or anything, so it's really nice. And this is the Marabou Aqua Pen Graphics. Um, I kind of admittedly added this pretty last minute because I was so interested in the very warm colors that I almost forgot about it. So I just kind of threw it into the background. Um, it dries kind of quickly. You can see at the top it didn't blend super, super well, but um, once it dries, it looks a lot better. Overall, I really enjoyed this box. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm excited to continue to use the products and I am convinced to continue getting Art Snacks box. They're very affordable and I recommend it to anyone looking for new products.